All right, everybody, here we are playing Penny Lane is in my ears and in my eyes. This is by Spark Works, but I picked it up at Sperling Games booth at Gen Con. And uh, basically the gist is, is that we have lanes. We're gonna be putting businesses at the top, houses at the bottom. So business at the top, party on the bottom. And uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to line up these little icons like coins and stars. We're trying to get up to 10 victory points. We're also gonna get actions from the buildings and the uh, houses we place. And up here is the action boards where we're gonna be doing the main gist of the game. What does that mean? Well, why don't we just jump into the game? I will explain as we play. But before we do, we have Memory Lane versus Lover's Lane, which is in a <laughs> it's in an adult shop here in Indiana, just so you know. So it kind of makes me giggle every time I say it. Uh, all right, so right off the gist, I am going to pay one coin into this location. Each one of these locations has different actions you can take, and in this case, this is the bank. I have to place one coin, as signified by the one, but I also get to take the little star icon, so and, it, and automatically I gain two coins, but because I actually covered the star area, I gain an extra coin. So I'm gonna gain three coins for player one, or memory lane. And of course, then player two, or lover's lane, is gonna take the second action on there to get a coin as well, but they don't get the bonus coin because they were not the first person to go. There is a big benefit to being first player in this game for Shawa. Okay, so now what we can do is we can start buying some stuff. So let's see. Well, let's put two coins here. And if you are the first person, so what this is, is the Mason's Guild. Uh, gain a building from the supply. These are the buildings from the supplies. And if you are the first person to cover up this spot here, you pay one less. So we're gonna put two coins there. And let's see. I think we are gonna grab, which one of these? So it gains an extra money. Yeah, I want this one here. All right, just like that. So this player over here is like, whoop, let's flip a new card. Of course, this player over here is like, well, I would like to get on that jazz too. So they're gonna place three coins there and they're gonna grab themselves a house as well. And if you notice, they did complete these little circles here and we'll cover what that means during the upkeep phase. Now, one thing I failed to do, which, gosh, you would think I would know this. You get citizens for each one of these locations whenever you build a house. And what you wanna do with those citizens is you want to put them to work. You, you know, lazy citizens laying around on your player board? No, they need to go to work. All right, so this player still has three coins, man. They are like rich over here. So man, what do they wanna do? It'd be nice to maybe get another building. If there was a building that had a star here and a star there, like on the left in the bottom, like if that was a star, oh God, that'd be perfect. But in this case, it's not so perfect. I mean, it's somewhat perfect, but not perfect, perfect. Hmm, let's see. There's a lot of good choices. I think we're gonna go with this one. So let's spend two coins and we're gonna place them there on the final spot and we're gonna grab the confectioners and we're gonna place that right there and then flip over a new card. Now it goes back to this player. He's like, I'm sick of you being in charge, all right? I need to be in charge. Bam, just like that, gonna go there and then you get a coin back and oh, you kept it no. So they will be first player the next round. So now we go back to this player. They got one coin left. Let's see. I mean, really, there's nothing they should want to do for the most part. So they're just going to hang on to that coin and say, fine, I give, whatevs. Now we're going to go into the upkeep phase. So the first thing we do in the upkeep phase, we see, does anybody have 10 points? No, we're both stuck at zero, bro. So nobody has any points, okay? Now you're gonna get points by completing these little stars and you're gonna get points from these buildings and also removing citizens and putting them to work. That'll all make sense as I'm playing, trust me. So now what we're gonna do is go into the upkeep phase, which means that we look at anything that has this little symbol here, okay? And uh, you're gonna gain that. So in this case here, if this job was fulfilled, you'd get a coin, which means I need to move this guy from here up to there, and then I'm gonna get a, a coin for doing that during the upkeep phase. In this case, I did not do it, so I don't get one. I get a citizen, and I get to place it there. I also, I'm gonna go ahead and just place that one over there. I also am gonna get a coin. Here, I'm just gonna grab from these, It'd be easier. So I'm gonna get a coin for that right there, and they both get that, same exact thing, okay? But then I'm gonna get a coin for each one of these that I also made uh, complete coin symbols out of. So I'm gonna get two more coins, so I'll just grab them from here. And for this player, that would be it for them. So for this player, they already got their coin for that, and then they're gonna get one additional. And then we're gonna just clear all this jazz off. <laughs> like that. All right, so now we're gonna begin another round. So let's see, this player is like, you know, now that I'm captain, 
I'm gonna get that extra money from the bank. One, two, three, and then of course this player is like, well, I like making one coin become two coins myself. So they're gonna do it as well. So now we'll go back to this player. They need some shops up here to be able to start putting some people to walk. Let's see, ooh, but that's a good one too. I like that one as well. We're gonna put two coins up here. We're gonna buy that building. And look, bing, 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 we made a star. You get a gold star. Yes, you do. And we're gonna put a person on there as well because this time I'm not gonna forget to do it. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to this player and they're like, oh, I wanna put some people to work. Let's see. But I also want some buildings. What building would I want? Hmm, there's nothing else I could get. There's nothing else I could connect to make money. So I'm kind of stuck with that. So it's best if I could try to put somebody to work. That would be the best thing to do. So, um, oh goodness, look at that. And it's right there. That's perfect. We need that one. So that costs three, two, and three. So we're gonna get that and place it right there. And booyah, that just created two points, just like that. Oh, yeah, cooking with gas over there in memory lane. So now this player here is going to take two money. And then if you're the first person to do this, it says move a citizen into an open job. Wait a minute, is that what I want to do with them? Uh, nah, I don't want to do that with them. Let's not, let's not spend our money on that. We need a shop for them is what we need. Ah, we don't have enough for any of these shops, unfortunately. Uh, we need more money somehow. There's no way to get any more extra money. Ah, uh, that stinks. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna just secure up being mayor just so that that ain't taken away. So the next round, we gonna get extra money and that's how it's gonna be. Okay, so now this player over here has two coins left and they are going to take advantage of this spot right here. So move a citizen into an open job um, and then if you pay one extra coin, you can move an additional citizen if you're the first person. In this case they are, but they don't have any more coins. But the reason I wanted to do that is because I wanna move this citizen, uh, yes, I wanna move this citizen from here up to there. And the reason I do that is because it's gonna give them now uh, extra coins, because they're gonna get one for this job being filled, one for that, one for that, and now because this employee is in, this person is employed, they're gonna get an extra coin as well. So it's all good. Um, now it goes back to this player and I think they're just gonna hang on to their cash at the moment. Now they could, if they wanted to, spend three and gamble and gain the top building from the top of the stack, but that can backfire. And you're not getting a whole lot of money in the upkeep phase. You're only gonna get two more coins. Then you'll get that, because you're guaranteed that. So that'd be two technically. So that'd be four more coins. Yeah, let's hang on to our cash and have a big round for the next round. I like that idea. Okay, so now we'll go back to the upkeep phase. First thing we check, is that anybody at 10 points? Nope, I'm at two and I'm at one. So we're gonna go a whole nother round. My goodness, look at us. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do just like I said, we're gonna get four money for this player. So let's grab it from up here off this board. We're not gonna get another person. This is, if, you're already, if you got one there, you don't get another one. They don't keep stacking, just so you know. So that just stays there. Uh, and then this player's gonna get one, two more coins. Let's just pull them from there. We're gonna clear these off. And let's begin another round. I know it's kind of a slow burn at first, but that's how a lot of these games, you know, engine builders are always a slow burn at first. So as this game gets cooking, it gets cooking, and when it does, it goes fast. So there's three money. One, two, three. We're just gonna do the bank thing because you gotta get that money flowing in. Money's really important, it's tight. All right, so now this player really needs some, some places to put some employees out. This building's links are worth double if both jobs are filled. Oh man, it's too bad that they can't get the stars down there. Uh, game $1 per employee. Oh man, it's just, it's not set up right. You see, if it would have been flip-flopped around, at least they could get the coin. We're gonna take it, so that would be three money they need to spend, because they get the one dollar discount. Flip out a new building. But they didn't get the star lined up, that's what stinks. Uh, so, kind of missed opportunity, but you can only do what you can do. Uh, worth, oh, it's worth a victory point though, once the, the jobs are filled. So, yeah, for each employee you get up there, it's worth a coin. So that that's a big deal, we need to get these employees worked 
and get him up there. Work it, girl. Oh, something I forgot to do, by the way, is whenever you uh, send an employee and put them to work as well, it frees up this spot, you get a gold star. So we're gonna move that up. My bad, I forgot. Okay, so now this player, let's see, they would like to try to put more people to work as well. They've got, well, just one, unfortunately, that they can move over there. We need more houses, is like what I think this player needs. Uh, let's see, man. We're not going to be able to line up perfectly here, unfortunately. Um, I'd like to try to get this one for him. So let's go ahead and spend three coins. And let's grab this one. And that's going to get us two more people. Okay. Boop and boop. All right. So let's go back over to this player. Uh, they want to get some people to work. So they're going to spend two. And they're actually going to spend the extra one because they're gonna place all three up here and they're gonna take advantage of the bonus to be able to move a second citizen. So they are going to move, I kinda wanna just move this one to be honest. Cause I think we'll be able to pull these off eventually. I don't know, it's not necessary. Let's just put both of these up there. And that's gonna free up two points. And this, whenever the jobs are filled, it's worth a point. So now they're at four points, okay? still think I should have probably used him. Nah, don't worry about it. I'll kick myself later over it. Okay, so now it goes back to this player, and they would like to do the same thing. They're going to spend two coins right to there, and they are going to employ one person up to here, and that does free up a star, so now it is four to four. So we go back over to this player. He ain't got no money, nothing to sweat over there, so they're just going to say pass, of course, this player doesn't have any money either, so they're going to pass as well. So first thing we do is in the upkeep phase, we see, does anybody have 10, uh, 10 stars? No, they don't. So we're obviously going to go another round. So we're going to get one, two, three, four, five, five coins over here. And then we're going to get one, two, three, four, five over here as well. You guys like these coins? They're actually cardboard, but they look like they're metal, don't they? Really good. It's the, it's the little things that like that that I really enjoy about gaming. It's just the little things. All right, so right off the bat, we are going to <laughs> go to the bank because it only makes sense to go to the bank. I need that money. At some point, you stop doing this, but right now it's still a little too important. You gotta hit that bank, get that coins. All right, so now this player here, let me see, gain one coin per employee. It is worth, oh my God, two victory points if all the jobs are filled. And if we put it there, it's gonna give an even one. <gasps> oh, that is just too good to pass up on. So let's use three coins. If I can get my, my big fat fingers around them. We're gonna grab this one, stick it right there, which gives us an instant stop. Cause baby, I'm a stop. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I will not do that again. Uh, let's see, now we go back to this player. Let's see, he needs, he needs to do better. That's what he needs to do. This one here is not bad. Get an extra coin at the bank if this job is filled. That's not too shabby. Let's grab that. So let's use four coins. Okay. And we're gonna grab the smelter, <laughs> the smelter. <laughs> I just had a fart joke in my brain when I said smelter. I don't know why I think that's funny. All right, so I've got five coins left over here. Plenty of things to do. I'd like to try to get employees up here. Uh, let's see, so let's spend three coins right here so we can move two citizens. And we are going to move this one and this one up to here and here, which is gonna give us another star. And now we go back over to here. This person says, I've had enough of you. Hang on. No, no. We're going to spend two and just move one person. And it doesn't really matter. We're gonna go there though. And uh, that will free it up. They get another star. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Where does six one come from? 
Let's try that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Okay. Six to six. The number of the bridge. One, two, three, four, five. I only count five for them as well. Let's try it one more time. One, two, three, four, five. How'd you get a six one? Are you cheating, bro? Let's move you back one. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, six. Pew. <laughs> and we get one there, it'll be worth two. Okay. So I think at this stage, both players are probably going to pass. Yes. So both players are going to pass. We're going to go into the upkeep phase. And let's start with this player. So he's going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven coins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is where you stop worrying about the bank so much. All right. And then they're going to get a person here. And that is it. Gain one coin if this citizen is employed. And that is it. Okay. You know what? Should have put him over there. I, I, I read that wrong. So I'm going to move him because I, I like cheating. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Six coins for them. It's hard to get my fingers around these things. They're so tiny. All right. Da -da -da -da. Okay, we should be good. All right. So let's see. We need to try to put this baby to bed. One, two, three, four. Can we get four stars? That's two right there. There's no other connections we could make to get more stars right away. Let's see. We need more people, don't we? Yes. Yes, we do. We need people. When you get into that, this building. This building's lengths are worth double if both jobs are filled. Eh, that's all right, I guess. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? We are going to worth one victory point per ghost on your lane. That's the little ghost symbols. None of them are out, so uh, it's not gonna be worth anything. Uh, so let's just spend, let's see. We'll just spend one coin so we can get a person. So we're gonna spin a coin, we're gonna grab this one here, and we're just gonna put it over there to see if maybe we get lucky and we could put something there with a star on it. Okay, this person is going to do the exact same thing, and they want this one. And we're gonna put it over there. We're gonna put a person on it. Okay. And we're gonna try to get another house, put a star, connect those stars, connect them stars. We gotta get these people to work. Okay, let's see. All right, we need more jobs. For each employee, gain a coin and choose an opponent to also gain a coin. Well, I don't want them to get no coin. Maybe we do this one. We got the money for it. Should have done that one first. Was, no, it wasn't out, was it? No, it wasn't. We should grab this one. Let's grab four. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Let's grab this one. Place it there. And that will give us a victory point. And now we got to get some people to work. We only got one person. Didn't I just buy that? I just bought that, and I didn't put a person on it. You guys are supposed to remind me. Okay, now this player over here is going to spend... Mm, you don't really need to spin that yet. Let's see, let's put a new building out. Worth a victory point for every two houses on your lane if this job is filled. That's that's awesome. That could be really good. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Problem is, can't buy any more buildings. Hmm. So this player is going to go here. And they're going to get a coin. And they are going to become mayor. All right, let's see. This player here is going to put a coin here and get three. Okay, this player here is going to spend two coins, three coins, and they're going to place this person up to there. 
which is going to free that up. Seven points. And now they're going to take this person, choose any lane and get $1 for each house in that lane. Choose any lane and get a dollar for each one of those little symbols. It's going to be half dozen one another. Same thing. So I'll choose my own and get three coins back. Okay. And three. All right. Let's see. Got all that money. Let's just spend it. Let's see if we get lucky. Let's put three money here. Draw a top card from the deck. Mint Factory. The, the building's links are worth nothing until the job is filled. Ooh. Let's put it there. Okay. Go back to this player. They have no people. They have no way to build. Ah, uh, this stinks. Hmm. Well, kind of is what it is, though. So they're going to pass. They are our first player next time, though. All right, so now we'll go back to this player again. Let's see. They need to put some people to work. They have two here, so let's spend two coins. And let's put both of these people to work. And this building's links are worth double. So the links are worth double, so now you get another victory point. That put them at eight. And nine. Oh, you were so close. Let's count it up to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, should've put him there, should've put him there. There we go, okay. Now, let's try this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's still nine, isn't it? Where did I put the eye? I put them both there, didn't I? Let's try one more time. One, two, three, Four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'm still getting nine. All right, that's fine. Well, we know what's coming next round. Oh yeah, we do. All right, I hear the thunder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're only at seven, huh? Huh. Slacker. Okay, let's see here. We're, this is the one that he needs right here, so we're gonna have to wait till next round to get it. There's nothing else really freed up. Might as well just do this. We're gonna put a coin there, and that's actually gonna give him two, three, because getting an extra coin um, at the bank if this job is filled, so three coins. That can be a tiebreaker if it comes down to that. It may not, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, back over to this player, and they are good. They don't wanna do anything. But they do. They want to do this one. Swap the position of, of two buildings on your lane. We're going to actually it'd be swap the positions of any two. I was going to put it there. I don't know why I didn't do that initially. That was kind of dumb of me. I don't want to swap that. We're just going to leave it where it's at. All right, that's it. So pass and pass. All right, so let's collect all their jazz. All right, uh, let's see. So we're going to get one. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven coins over here. One, two, three. Okay, and then over here we are going to get uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine coins. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, put that person back, put that coin back, and then we get a person on our board as well. Boop, boop. Okay, lots of money for both players. This will be the last round. No doubts about it. We need people. Okay, so let's go here first. We'll spend two coins. We're gonna grab this house, and we will just place it right there. Flip over a new card, and we're going to put two people on there. Okay. Boop, boop. Okay, now we'll go back over to this player. Let's see. They need to try to... No stars to connect. All right. They just be, need to put something there to fill that. Uh, nah, whatever. Don't really need to worry. This building's links are worth double the filled. Okay, they need to maybe see if they could create more links, or just take this dormitory and place a bunch of freaking people. Let's do that. See if we can. Two, 
three, four, five. Let's place it right there, get three people on it. One, two, three, put in a coin on there. I'm sorry, put in a card out there. Okay, so now it's this player. They're gonna be like, well, you're not gonna take advantage of it before I do. So they're gonna place three there. They're gonna move both of these workers off of here and we'll put one here and we'll put one there. Okay, so they're gonna get a coin for each house, one, two, three, four, and then a coin for each one of these locations, five, six, seven, eight, so eight coins back. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Told you money wasn't no big deal at the end of the game. Uh, so then that did free it up. That's two more there. Seemed like I had a different spot that I was gonna put these people in, but now I can't seem to remember. Okay, uh, let's see. So this player does not have quite as much cash and they just need one more victory point. So they're just gonna do this like right now. And they're gonna take one person and place them right there, which now gives them the extra victory point. Now we're at 10. This is definitely, it's the end game, people. This is where Tony Stark dies. Okay, so let's see. Um, need this right here so let's spend two coins and let's grab that place it right there all right for each one that creates another one that's 10 for them as well now okay so now we go back to this player let's see let's go they don't have any place where they could possibly connect coins or anything hmm okay so Oh boy, let's just put three there, see what happens. Okay, that's a star. Where could we possibly get lucky? There's nothing. Ah, oh, let's see. Oh, right there, that's the spot, baby. Okay, so we're gonna put it right there just for now, okay? All right, <laughs> I have an idea. Okay, don't tell this player though. Let's see, so if he can get a building right here, but that's it, there's no more buildings we can get. That's it. I mean, this is really it. <sighs> you know what they're going to do? They're going to be bad. And they're just going to do this. Because they're going to swap the position of these two. Because they knew what this player was up to. He was going to take this card and put it over here. And then that would connect those two stars. But see, now he can't do it. Because you place a coin there and you can swap the position of any two buildings in your lane. Now they can't. And all the actions have been taken. Oh my god. This is crazy. All the uh, jobs are filled. <gasps> There's a job right there. I don't have any more money. <gasps> Why did I buy a card? I should have went here and filled that job and that would have given an extra victory point here. Oh, that was so dumb. Oh, this player's kicking themselves. Should have thought, you know, should have thought that over in Lover's Lane. Okay, so let's see. He's just gonna put a coin here and get three coins. It ain't gonna matter. This player is going to place one there. They will get three coins as well. All right. So that's it. They're both going to pass. They're done. Other than the fact this person wants to become mayor for the heck of it. That's right. Okay. So first thing we do, we see both the players have 10 stars. Okay. So it's going to come down to a tiebreaker, which it shouldn't have because this player definitely should have won if I would have just remembered this. Yeah, I should have just taken that guy and placed him up there. Wait, wait, wait. Duh. What am I doing here? I don't have to do that. I don't have to pass. There's a place up there. All I gotta do is just that. And then I could place him there. There we go. Duh. Okay, now that gives the extra coin or the extra star. So now I feel better that I didn't cheat out Lover's Lane. So what we do is we just double check, make sure. So we've got one. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll count nine. Certainly there's got to be another one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Okay, ten exact on this location. Over here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So Lover's Lane pulled out the victory. 
Whew. Well, that was awesome. What I was planning on doing is I was going to use this location right here, and I was going to move this one. And I was going to move this one over to there. I guess it would have been done that. I don't know if that would have made any difference, but it don't matter. But anyways, so that's Lover's Lane. Uh, or I'm sorry, that's uh, Penny Lane. <laughs> um, these little coins are so cute. I love them. It's a great game. This is a lot of fun, guys. A little bitty tiny box, you know, and uh, so it's a real easy game to uh, just basically just, you know, pal around with, throw it in your backpack, hang around. And, and, and as you could tell, I mean, it, it's a real simplistic game. But boy, there's a lot to kind of look over your board to make sure that your placement's right, that you're taking the right types of actions. I mean, even I made some mistakes, and I've played this like five times now. Um, tons of buildings that come out, different types of them. that, And you guys basically saw quite a few of them in this game. I'm glad we got so many of them out so that you could see a really good experience for this. But I mean, there's a lot more buildings than what you've even seen. And uh, I like how not only are you trying to go for the buildings, but you're also trying to line up these little icons. It's like a little double bonus. But then on top of that, you're trying to get your little citizens, then you're trying to put them to work, and that gives you little extra bonuses on the cards on top of that as well. The action boards up here, fantastically done. This is just a great little game. I like this one a lot. Here's the other uh, three boards. We have Drury Lane, we have Lois Lane, and we have Slow Lane. And uh, they are each color, like purple, green, and uh, I don't know, teal, this one's blue, and then this one's black. Uh, but this is really fun. I like this one a lot. I want to uh, thank um, uh, Starling Games for actually giving this to me at Gen Con so that I can do a review because this one's been quite a delight to film. I hope you enjoyed this as well. Uh, don't forget, if you haven't yet, uh, hit the like button for me and subscribe if you haven't. It sure helps me out a lot. Very encouraging. And I hope you check this game out if you get a chance. That is Penny Lane. That is Sparkworks. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.